Do you want to know how I launch my Amazon FBA products with zero reviews? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my five strategies on how I successfully launch my Amazon FBA products with zero reviews. So stay tuned. What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trevin Peterson, I'm a full-time multiple six-figure Amazon seller, and I'm really excited to dive into today's topic on how I successfully launch products with zero reviews. So this is something that a lot of people ask me. This is something that is very important and up to date in 2019. Um, there's a lot of black hat stuff going on. There's a lot of review manipulation. There's a lot of hijackers targeting and sniping your product leaving negative reviews and it's just a brutal marketplace and if you don't know what you're doing if you don't implement these five strategies it may hurt you in the long run and you're just going to be throwing money into products and marketing that aren't going to succeed so make sure to stick around watch this entire video but before we dive into it I want to dive into my seller account keep you guys updated let you know that I'm a current FBA seller this is what I do full-time I'm in the trenches with you and what I'm about to teach you actually works so let's dive into my sales um, as you guys can see right here just over twenty six hundred dollars for the day um, just over sixty eight thousand in the last 30 days and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the most up-to-date Amazon FBA channel out on the market. So turn on that notification bell, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and also don't forget to join the Amazon Champion Facebook group. It's completely free, so check that in the link down below. So without further ado, let's dive into the video where I'm going to be breaking down how I launched my Amazon FBA products in 2019 with zero reviews. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do to successfully launch an Amazon FBA product in 2019 with zero Zero reviews is understand product research. I've said this a million times, but product research is truly the key to success when it comes to selling on Amazon. So if we don't know what to look for in a product, if we don't understand our competition, the market that we're entering into, it's going to be very difficult whether you have a million dollars to invest. There's just some products that is very, very difficult and the chances of you succeeding is slim and none. So we need to make sure that we understand what we're looking at, how to read the data with these awesome software tools um, that these different companies have provided. And we need to take that data and dissect it and really understand what we want in a product. So right now, um, just the reality of Amazon, there's a lot of black hat tactics going on. So like if you launch a product and it starts doing well and you don't have very many reviews, you're going to see these hijackers, people in that category or that niche that you're selling in, literally snipe your listing, purchase your product, leave, leave negative reviews, and it's sad because one one star review, one negative review equals like 10 five star reviews. So it's crucial that we don't want to enter into just a crazy competitive market where sellers don't even want us to enter in and take part of that market share. So that's one of the very first things that you guys need to understand is don't get involved in a too competitive of a product. And the first thing that I look at to decide whether or not it's too competitive or not is the average reviews. So selling on Amazon, having reviews is crucial. And this video is about how to launch without reviews. Um, so being 100% compliant with Amazon's guidelines, you need to find a product where you're not competing against people that have even 75, 100, 125, 200, let alone 500, 1,000 reviews. It's just not, the, the reality of it is you can't do it. If you've ever shopped on Amazon, and you're comparing two products, and one has 500 five-star reviews, and then another one has even two five-star reviews, more than likely, even if you spend an extra dollar, you're going to buy the one that has more reviews, and that's just the way shopping on Amazon works. So what we're going to do to solve that is find a product where you aren't competing against the top seller that has 100 plus reviews. So you want to find the average reviews between zero and 50. Now you may think that that's impossible, but there are certain categories, there's certain niches, there's certain products where it's not crazy competitive. The demand may not be crazy. It may not be a home run product that makes you $20,000 overnight or even in a month, 
But over time, as you build the listing, you launch, you successfully rank that product, you start building the reviews, then you start getting more aggressive with the launch. That's how you can really turn something into a long-term business. You're in this for the long run. Um, a lot of these black hat strategies, they're in it to make as money, make as much money as quick as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact opposite because we want to be 100% compliant. We don't want to deal with trying to the potential of getting our account suspended. And so we're going to target these products that may not be that may not make you rich overnight, but that's okay because you can launch multiple of them. And once you have five, 10 products that are doing you two, three, four thousand dollars a month, I mean, it adds up really quick. So that's our goal. We don't want to go after these crazy products where the average reviews are super high. So let's dive into my screen and you may be wondering, okay, how do I know um, what is the average review? So right here, we're on this retractable leash just kind of as an example. I'm going to use what's called the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension. And I pull this up and it's going to pull all of the data and show me, okay, what's the revenues, what's the BSR, what's the sales, the FBA fee. It's gonna show me literally everything that I need to know. But the most important thing to look at before we waste our time is look at the average reviews and see who are you competing against. So it's gonna give us an average review of basically the average of all the different sellers on that first page. And if it's over 50, now if it's over, it could be like 60, 70, it may be okay. But I like keeping it under 50 because it's a lot easier for me to rank that product and compete. Because like I was saying, when people shop on Amazon, they're comparing the reviews and if someone has more reviews and you have less, that's just the brutal truth. With Amazon, they're going to buy the one with more reviews. So right here, the average reviews is 370. So for me to think that it's realistic for me to go in and try to compete with this market, is it's just not realistic. It's going to be literally almost impossible unless I was just some marketing genius. I had just money to literally throw and just throw down the drain. Um, maybe I had some crazy new invention of this retractable leash. There's maybe a chance of being successful with it, but my, from my experience, especially if it's your first, your second, your third product, you're going to struggle, struggle so much to try to rank this successfully. So stay away from that. If you pull up a Chrome extension and the average reviews is over like 75, it may be too competitive. Now there are certain products where you like for example on this you may look at the the chrome extension and there's some sponsored ads that aren't really related to your product but they have like a thousand two thousand reviews and it throws that average review count so that's something that you want to go in and you can actually delete this so right here you see this button you can delete it so that average review is more true to the actual product that you're looking to sell so that's something to also keep into account is some products on the first page don't really align to that keyword and so you can go in and delete those products and then that average review uh, count will drop so that is uh, a little trick uh, tip that I would recommend when it comes to product research and to successfully launch a product if you're gonna be hundred percent compliant uh, you need to really find products where the top competitor the best seller doesn't have more than 50 hundred seventy five reviews okay so that's Tip number one is product research and finding the average reviews from zero to 50. And if you can do that, there's obviously other things to look at, other keywords. You can't just look at one keyword. You have to look at multiple keywords. So retractable leash may be one keyword. Um, there may be some other, uh, there may be other keywords. So like for example, uh, walking leash, um, retractable walking leash or, or something of that sort there's other keywords that you need to check as well and one keyword may be really good where the average reviews is like 20 and then you check the other keyword that's actually being searched and then the average is like 200 so that's something to also look at so that's the first tip okay so the second thing that we need to do to launch a successful product with zero reviews is have our product set up to acquire reviews so like I was saying reviews are crucial if we don't have the best top-notch quality product then you're going to get hit with these negative reviews unhappy customers 
And like I was saying, one negative reviews equals 10 positive reviews. So you want to avoid them at all costs. And the best way to avoid them is by over delivering, giving them the best product for the value. You want them, when they get the product, they spent 20 bucks, you want them to get it and have them think to themselves, wow, I, I would have spent 25, 30, 40, even $50 for this product. It was that good. So if you over deliver, if the customers are happy, then they're more likely to leave a review. So that's the first part of setting up your product to acquire reviews. The second is having these thank you card inserts. So this is a very crucial, very important step. Now you need to set it up appropriate, appropriately so it's in align with Amazon's terms of service there's a lot of different shady things that you could be doing by diverting happy customers this way unhappy customers this way diverting traffic to your website or to your email and saying go here if you're unhappy go here if you are or asking for a five-star review or showing on the thank you card um, a five-star review you don't want to do that you don't want to mention anything of them leaving a positive review or diverting traffic happy unhappy you just need to ask them for their honest feedback and opinion on the product and like I said if you over deliver if you have the best top-notch quality product then they will leave that five-star review and you don't have to ask for it and that's hundred percent compliant with Amazon's guidelines so that's step number two you need to make sure that the product is set up to get reviews um, now I know that this video is about how to launch without having reviews but down the road you need these reviews to grow and build that product from a thousand dollars a month to fifteen twenty thousand dollars per month so over time once you start acquiring acquiring these five star reviews it becomes a whole lot easier to rank and to compete for other more competitive keywords and that's the long-term game of Amazon Okay, so the third thing, it kind of ties into the fourth, but the third thing is we need to make sure our product is optimized and people actually want to click on it. So I'm going to kind of show you guys some examples on Amazon, but what I mean by this is if you had yours versus the bestseller and you had your listing side by side and you asked a random friend or uh, a family member or someone that didn't know your product and asked them which one would you click on and if they said yours versus the the bestseller or vice versa you need to make sure that they're wanting to click on your product first so there's going to be a few different ways we're going to do that so let's dive into my screen right here and again with this example of the retractable leash I'm going to show you guys one of the best things that you guys can do is look at people who are being successful. Look at the bestseller. What are they doing? What is different about their picture? So the first thing that I'm going to look at is the bestseller and Amazon's Choice. So Amazon's Choice, this is just a really big company. They have a patent on it. So that's why um, they're one of the, they're number one in dog retractable leashes. So you may not be able to compete with that. But if you look at bestseller, the reason why they are the best seller is look at this picture, look at how enticing it is to click on it. It's $19.97, so two cents cheaper than Amazon's Choice, this uh, amazing retractable leash. But it comes with a bunch of free bonuses like this water bowl, like this poop bag. And the picture looks really good. Everything matches and, it, and it, looks, it looks clean and it pops out on the page. This one is more kind of... Uh, just uh, it's a simple product picture whereas this one actually shows a lot more detail of the free bonuses and I just like this picture for whatever reason so that is something huge compare the pictures make sure that that product the, the your first picture is just the best because if people aren't even interested in clicking on it you're never going to get any sales so you need to make sure that people that there's a reason for someone to click and that is product pictures don't cheap out on that get someone to take good top-notch professional quality pictures so that when you do have you're comparing apples to apples side by side to your to your competitor they're going to click on your product another thing that I like doing is having coupons on your product this is something that pops on the page if we're looking here no one else has a coupon other than this one it says save five percent 
It's not a huge discount, but it's something that draws their attention because everything else looks the same. But when you see this green thing that says save 5% with a coupon, that catches someone eye, catches someone's eyes and they're like, hey, I want to click on that product. So if you have an amazing product picture, you have that coupon on there, you're drawing more attention to your listing. Therefore, more people are going to click and the more people that click, the more people are going to purchase. So now the question is, how do we get people to click on our product? So that's going to go into step number four, which is PPC campaigns. And, and you may have to do some giveaways as well, um, but I personally don't like doing giveaways and the reason being is I don't need the giveaways if I pick the right product properly, if I have just the best, most optimized listing created, and if I have that coupon code and then I run um, the three different PPC campaigns, there's product targeting. I have an entire video showing how to literally put your sponsored ad. So if we go right here um, and we click on this product, you can literally put your product um, right down below on this sponsored products related to this item through product targeting. So you can target specific products in your category, your competitors, and you can put your listing on their listing and steal some of their sales. So that's a huge, huge key factor that you guys need to make sure that you're doing is product targeting PPC campaigns. There's also manual PPC campaigns, which I show you guys in another video where I use Helium 10 Cerebro to literally dissect my competitors' keywords and then put them into a manual targeting campaign. And I know that my competitors are getting sales from these keywords, so I want to steal their sales as well. And I want to be shown on that first page. So if we do that, we have this perfect listing, we have the coupon codes, and also at the beginning, you may have to have that coupon, maybe a little bit higher at 25, 30, or even 50% to get people to look at your product and buy it without reviews. And then little by little, you'll, you'll get one. And as soon as you get that one review, you can drop that coupon code to like 20%, from 50% to 20. And then once you get two, you can just continue to drop it because you have more credibility and you don't need to offer such a big discount for someone to buy that product. So those two PPC campaigns and then also automatic targeting PPC campaigns are crucial for your success because Amazon is going to show you who they think is the best customer. They'll also show you um, on some of these um, right here, the sponsored products related to this item. Instead of you doing like the product targeting, automatic campaigns will actually do this as well. Um, but setting up those three PPC campaigns and running it heavy budgets and running and targeting the right audience is the key to success. You don't want to be targeting random keywords. You want to be targeting very specific keywords related to that particular product. And I show you guys in a bunch of different videos on the channel, product targeting PPC campaigns and manual PPC campaigns using Helium 10 Cerebro. If you guys don't have that tool, if you don't have Helium 10 in general, I would highly recommend to get it. It is a game changer. It's going to help with your product research. It, and it's also going to help you optimize your listing, throwing in the right keywords um, in your description, the title, and then also in the PPC campaign. So that is tip number four. And the fifth thing that you guys should be doing to launch a product with zero reviews is having an automated email sequence campaign set up. So there's a bunch of different softwares out there. Helium 10 has one that's included in their entire suite. So if you have Helium 10 already, you can use follow up. I also like uh, Amazon Mailer. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I, I do have a coupon code for that. It's like 25% off for the first three months. And then there's also some other um, softwares out there that you can use to literally integrate into your Amazon seller account. So as soon as you get an order, you follow up with an email. You say, hey, it's delivered. Second email, you make sure everything's going good. And then you can ask for a review. And that is a great way to get reviews. And again, if you don't have a good top-notch quality product, you're going to hit, get hit with negative reviews and it will actually hurt you reaching out to these customers with this automated email. So if you don't have a good product, don't do that because more than likely you'll get one review. Uh, for every one review you get, it, it's probably 50-50. It may be a good one, it may be a bad one. And like I was saying, one bad review equals 10 five-star reviews. So you need to make sure that you have a good product you and you have this automated email sequence sender set up, which I again talk about in the channel how to go over that, how to set it up completely. 
um, and, and that's a great way to acquire more reviews and then it just builds the momentum and then little by little you start building credibility and soon before you know it you have five, six, seven, eight, ten reviews and then things just start cruising and if you did everything that I just went over, you have these PPC campaigns set up, you have this product that's not in this crazy competitive niche or category, then you're going to keep rising and keep growing and little by little that product that was making you $500 profit per month will then be making you 1000 and then $2,000 profit. And then soon before you know it, you have two, three more like that that are all doing $3,000 profit per month and you're making 12 grand per month, which is the long-term goal. So this strategy is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that you're just going to launch a product and be making a million bucks, but it's something that's sustainable and it works right now in 2019 because you're not going after these crazy, ridiculous products that everyone is going after. So find that low-hanging fruit. Don't try to compete with these top sellers and your best the best thing that you can do is look at your competitors, see what they're doing, why are they being successful, how can you make yours better, What? how many reviews do they have. If they have too many, it's going to be hard to compete them no matter what you do with your particular product. Okay, So please, please make sure to implement those five tips. I promise if you do, you will have successful product launches and you will be able to launch without having any reviews. And once you get that one, that first, that second review, I promise your sales just start going like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment down below on future videos that you, you guys would like to see. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also join the Amazon Champion Facebook group. It's completely free and I also have some um, services that if you guys are interested, if you guys need help, for example, with product research, I have a product research course um, that's 21 bucks. I also do coaching calls if you guys are interested. And if you guys are a beginner and you guys are just starting and you guys are kind of confused with the whole process of Amazon, don't worry, I got you guys covered. I have an entire A to Z course with my mentorship as and I want to help you guys along every step of the way. So uh, check out those links down below. And for now, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video, and we will see you soon.